In this video, let's learn how to fold different types of triangles. We shall be folding right angle triangle, isosceles triangle and equilateral triangle. And let's explore their angles also. Take a square piece of paper and identify the bottom two corners of the sheet. And let's now make a center line by overlapping the opposite sides of the square. We will be able to make a perpendicular to the base. And now take any point on this vertical line and join that point to the two corners of the square which we have identified by folding one fold at a time. Now we are folding to the point identified to one of the corners. Repeat the same step to the other corner also. Now we are able to see one triangle formed. Now let's see whether the two sides of the triangle are equal. We have overlapped two sides of the triangle and they are exactly coinciding. So this triangle has two equal sides. Hence it is called as isosceles triangle. This is the triangle. Let's mark one more point and try to prove whether the two sides will be equal. Now similarly as we have done earlier, from that new point fold creases to the two corners of the square sheet. This is the first one. One side of the second triangle is formed, join the other side also from the new point to the bottom corner. This is a new triangle form. Let's check it. Overlap the sides. We see that they are coinciding and they are equal. So we call the second triangle also an isosceles triangle. These two sides are equal. Let's try one more point on this perpendicular and make the same type of folds to the bottom corners of the square. Now we have a new triangle form. Let's observe. We will fold and see. Yes, these two are also coinciding. And so these two sides are also equal. This is the third isosceles triangle we have formed. If we continue the moving the point to the top onto this perpendicular line, at a particular place, you will get an equilateral triangle. Now, take a square sheet, fold a diagonal to that. We got a triangle and as it is having one corner of the square, it is a right angle triangle. And as it is having two sides of a square, it is also an isosceles triangle. Now let's see these two angles are coinciding so these two angles are same. These two are equal. Now we have to see what is the measure of these two angles. Let's overlap them onto the 
90 degrees. These two together are exactly coinciding with the 90 degrees. And as they are also equal, each one will be equal to 45 degrees. So this triangle is a right angled isosceles triangle. Now let's explore about the equilateral triangle. The center line is formed and we have to lift the paper and mark on the perpendicular line a point where it is equal to the base of the triangle. In this way, let's mark that point. Make a small pinch and the point is marked. Similarly, check with the other side also. So we have taken the base as a measure and we're trying to create the two other sides of the equilateral triangle. Now from this new point, make a crease to the bottom left corner of the square. See that the points are sharp. This is the fold. This is the second side of the equilateral triangle we are forming. Similarly from that new point, we join to the right bottom corner of the square. This makes our equilateral triangle. Let's highlight so that it is visible. Let's also check the angles of the equilateral triangle. All the three sides are same, so it is equilateral. Now, we are bisecting one of the angles. This will be a perpendicular bisector. We're doing the same thing on the other angle also. So this is the third perpendicular bisector of the equilateral triangle. Now because they got bisected, these two angles are same. Now let's see about the angle which is left over outside this equilateral angle at the same corner. Overlap onto this, that also coincides with this bisectal angle. So all the three angles are equal. Now that the corner of the square is having 90 degrees, it's a right angle and it is divided into three equal parts, each one is equal to 30 degrees. Two such angles form the corner of the equilateral angle as marked, so that is together 60 degrees. So all the angles of the equilateral triangle are of 60 degrees. Happy folding viewers.